Hi, I'm April from Eating Healthy for Beginners by Permaculture, and today we are talking about the kiwi fruit. So, if you're trying to eat healthier, a kiwi is a great place to start, and one reason is it's a very nutrient dense food, which means there's a lot of nutrition in the little kiwi here but it's a very low calorie, so um, a, lot of, a lot of good. Um, there's some main benefits, so kiwi is very high in vitamin C and more than like oranges, you know we all think of oranges as the high vitamin C food, but I think one kiwi sometimes it can have more than your whole day's worth of vitamin C in it, just this one, so that means it's really good for your skin and among other things, as antioxidants and stuff like that. <laughs> so the other thing is, well, if you're game to eat the skin, and my husband will eat the skin, um, the skin is full of fiber, and so fiber is good for your body. It's also good in, for vitamin K, vitamin E, and potassium. So potassium is one of the things that we tend not to get enough of in our diet, and that's good for your heart. So in China, they actually used kiwis for medicine, like they do with cinnamon and other things, but they gave kiwis to women who had just given birth and also to kids to help them grow. So um, we call people from New Zealand kiwis <laughs> because there's a lot of kiwis growing there, but kiwis are not from there. They're actually from China, and they went to New Zealand after that. So. Um, now we'll talk about the actual eating of it. So, kiwis, if they're very hard, they're not ripe. If you touch them a bit and they give just a little bit, then they are ripe. If you smell it and it smells bad, it's bad. <laughs> okay, so that's it's really soft and um, that's one way you can tell, like if you're at a market or something and it's not prepackaged, if you smell it and it's just like, oh, that doesn't smell right, it's not ripe. Okay. So that's my main way of checking how fresh it is. Um, so the inside of the kiwi, of course, looks like that. So this kiwi, see it's a bit darker there, that's, but that's not that fresh. If, um, I would put it in a smoothie, but it smells good. So I probably wouldn't really eat that bit, but this, this one, it's other half. Is looking a bit worse so it's quite I wouldn't put that in a smoothie or eat that bit <laughs> I'm a bit picky but okay so I'll show you two ways that you can open and eat the kiwi I forgot to get this little kiwi spoon you can use any spoon but this spoon came with these kiwis the other day so it works well I know anyway we'll give you a look here so to open a kiwi, there's two ways you can do it. So I just cut that one open so I could show you. So one way is very simple. You just cut it in half, take your spoon, put it around the skin, and slide it all the way around. Give it a bit of a squish at the bottom. <laughs> that worked well. And there. Out it comes. So that's one way. The other way, I actually don't usually do this one with it because I don't like to waste bits. It's just to chop the skin off. Like that, so that's what I usually do. That probably doesn't make that much difference. But so you can see, yeah, the bad bit there. But that's all you do to peel them. Or you could eat it straight. But hardly anyone does that, aside from my husband. So kiwis are useful um, for a number of things. One, you can just eat them straight raw like this. Uh, I wouldn't prepare them too far ahead of time because they just, after a while, they kind of wilt. Except they're firm, but they're just, they're just not that good, say in an hour or two. Um, but other than that, they they are great fresh, they're great in a smoothie, so if you want to make a smoothie with banana and kiwi and orange, that's one of my favorite combos. Um, the 
banana and kiwi go well together because it's sweet and sour. Or banana and, I mean, kiwi and mango, another good combo. Yeah, the sweet and sour one. Um, that's a good one. I know kiwi and strawberry can be popular, especially if you put it on top of some yogurt or mix some muesli or granola, yogurt, and fruit on top. That's a nice combination. That's a parfait if you want the, you know, fancy word for it. And, um, yeah, some people use it on desserts and stuff. The main thing to watch out for with kiwi is it has something called acetid... Hold on. Acti actinidine. I wrote it down over there. Yeah, actinidine. Anyway, I won't remember that tomorrow, but I will remember this, and that is that it, it's actinidine is used for meat tenderizing and things like that. So you can use it to break down your meat, <laughs> or, but, no, anyway, you can, uh, what, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, hey, okay, so, the thing to remember is, if you put it with dairy, or a gelatin-based dessert, or meal, some kind that you're making, it'll start to break down that stuff, so, if, with, um, yogurt, or, what am I thinking, uh, yeah, jello, <laughs> like a gelatin base. You now you get that, you can get the healthy gelatin or make something like If you put that on top, it'll start to break down the gelatin. So, just keep it out of those things. It's fine with yogurt, but if you were going to leave it on top of something you made with yogurt, it would start to, you know, break down the dairy. Is that clear today or what? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the kiwi is good. We usually have it in our house because it's a good sour fruit to have. Um, you don't want everything to be sweet all the time, otherwise things don't taste that good. You like, it's good to have a complex, you know, kind of flavor. So, uh, for more great tips like today's one on the kiwi, it was good. I'm just a bit all over the place sometimes, hey. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah. If you want to learn more about basic fruits and vegetables or eating healthy or what you can do with these things if you're not that familiar with it because kiwi is another one that has become more and more common but it's it maybe you haven't been around it that much so um yeah anyway as I was saying just subscribe to the email list or YouTube channel or visit us on Facebook if you have any questions all right see you next time